Yo, what is going on guys? It is the SG Commander today with another Madden 21 video and today we're going to be talking about how to get coins right now in Madden 21. In case you guys do not know here in the channel, I give you guys a lot of nominee spent methods, whether you need coins, training points, XP, trophies. There are videos here on the channel to help you guys out, so if you need any help, go check out the videos. And as always, if you have any questions on what I talk about in today's video, make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll answer your question as soon as possible. Uh, we have a couple methods today. At the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about uh, some stuff on how I got as many coins as I have right now. And uh, talk about a couple videos in the future that I'll be making about coins and uh, some things you should be doing right now in the game in Madden 21. So we're going to start out with some of the more basic ones. All right, some of the things I've been using on a day-to-day -day basis on how to get some, you know, some coins here and there. Uh, sometimes it pays out very well. Sometimes it does not. One thing I will recommend are these All Pro Fantasy packs. These are. See, the reason why I like these is because if you open a bad pack, you only lose about 20k at most. And it's not that hard to break even. And I've gotten plenty of good hits from these packs. I've pulled uh, I've pulled a 95 Rich Gannon from these this time. So that, that, really, that really did help me out. Pulled a couple 92s as well. So I do recommend these All Pro Fantasy packs. However, if you open two of them in a row and you're not really getting anything good, just take a break. Because I think there is a thing like with pack windows... The EA might boost the pack odds for like 10 minutes, you know, and then turn them, turn them back down. So if you're noticing you're getting good packs, you know, you're getting good players from the packs, keep opening. But if you're not pulling anything good, don't open. That's what I would recommend, all right? Uh, another thing are these got to go player packs. These as well are hit or miss, all right? The, way, the reason I like them is because if you don't get anything good, you don't lose that much. It's not that hard to break even. And if you get something good, you're making a lot of coins, all right? Now, the best time to open these, and the only time I recommend you should open these, are when there are limiteds in packs, because it is possible to get these limiteds, and uh, I've seen it happen plenty of times before. You guys might even have, uh, you know, it could happen to one of you guys as well, all right? The get a player packs are decent, however, not that many people like to buy golds or silvers anymore, so, you know, it can be a little bit harder to make your coins back. So, um, just the, the all pro fantasy packs and the get a gold player packs. Now, the reason I recommend these get a gold so much, sorry, I just bumped the mic, but the reason I recommend these get a gold player packs so much, this is, has to do with like the second method right now. You can get the, you know those Halloween players, the most feared players, pretty consistently. And the thing is, some of those cards go for a lot. Like some of those 85s go for a lot. Um, another exchange you might want to consider doing is this exchange right here. I got a Malcolm Butler today that went for 30k. All right, I literally sold a Malcolm Butler today for 30k. 85, I think it's Malcolm Butler for 35,000 or for 30,000 coins. 85 overall. I'm going to see how much he's going for right now. But I just want to point out uh, the Henry Ruggs, uh, too. There, there's a most feared Henry Ruggs out there. Don't know what overall. I know he has a pretty good price. Um, we're just going to look up this Malcolm Butler real quick, just so I can show you guys. I, I doubt he's 30k anymore. Um, but, that, you know, that, that, that just happens. Sometimes that just happens where cards go up in price for whatever reason. And it's always a good thing to hold on to those Halloween cards, because the Halloween cards always seem to go up in price as the year goes on. Uh, when when the bosses come out, so like yeah, Malcolm Butler right here, forty three thousand, and he got bought. That's the stupid thing. He actually got bought. All right. Either one of these are great to pull. I don't know why there's two eighty five Malcolm. Oh, that's Malcolm Jenkins. Sorry, but like yeah, this is what I'm saying. This card is great to pull, and it's only eighty five overall. So there's plenty of Halloween cards out there that are good to pull. So just want to point that out. Uh, that's why I recommend you guys open those. Same thing with that Halloween set though. I would be going for that card right now. Through this Halloween set. Alright, I'll go show you guys the set one more time. Alright, right over here, the 8, uh, what is it right here? 85 plus. Would I highly recommend you guys do this. Alright, you can obviously pull the 90s as well. So, uh, go ahead and try this. I, I would definitely recommend it. Um, obviously, you're not going to get good stuff every time, but the fact that the lowest overall card has potential to be 40k, I mean, that's pretty crazy. And, and he actually got bought too. If I were you, you know, he's going for 40k now. The odds of someone buying a card for 40k, that's 85 overall, are pretty low. If I were you, I would put him out for like 25,000. Because that's that has a pretty decent chance of getting pulled. Or getting uh, bought off the auction house. Way higher chance than, you know, 40,000. So, uh, that's what I would do if I were you. That's really the methods I want you guys to focus on, though. Are the get a golds, uh, the all pro fantasy packs. You Make sure you use, use the tips that I told you guys to for, the, for both those packs. And uh, just putting them into sets and working your coins up. Obviously, some things you should be doing right now in the game. Make sure you're doing your 500,000 coin per week method. I'll go over it really quickly. All you have to do is play two head-to-head -head seasons and play your weekend league games. And just some little things here and there, like your daily objective, maybe some, some store packs, just like I said, but they get a golds and stuff. And you should be on pace for 500,000 coins per week. All right. 
uh, you know, somewhere around 500k, maybe 400k, could be even more depending on how good you do. All right, so that's really that. Some videos you guys are gonna see in the future. I want my next coin making video to be how I got my 1 million coins. I'll go over every step I, I you know, went through to get uh, 1 million coins. I'm, I'm saving up for a million. And uh, the video after that will be a 1 million coin spending spree. And then the video after that will probably be a training uh, training point video. So that's going to be that. Uh, yeah, we're going to be spending you know, spend a lot of coins pretty soon. Also saving a lot of coins. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, definitely going to be buying some Team of the Year cards. And then just some little upgrades here and there on my team. I'll show you guys what I'm looking for real quick. Just give you guys a little sneak peek. Um, I'm also saving those trophies to buy some coins with. You can see that up there. Uh, I'm looking to get this Larry Allen upgraded pretty soon here. And uh, let's see, what else do I need? I don't really need anything on offense, to be honest. The offense is good. I just need to upgrade Barry Sanders to get him to his max overall. Defense, I'm looking to get that Jamal Adams. All right. And uh, I do kind of want to get that new Justin Smith because that card looks filthy, even though Nick Mosa is already really good. So, I don't know. We will see. We will definitely see. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Looking looking forward to it a lot. I always love doing spending spree videos. Um, last year, I had a video that did pretty good. And uh, I don't know. I'm just looking forward to doing it. All right. So, I'm going to do my shots today right now. In case you guys don't know, I do shouts on every single video. Literally, all you have to do to get shouted out is comment on this video, and you will get shouted out in the next video. All right, pretty pretty simple. Um, yeah, so here we go. Gonna get into it right now. We had 23 comments on the last video. Some of those were from me, just replying to you guys. But let's get into it. Uh, we have Hunter Hawkins right here, uh, Devil Racer 09, Steez VU, uh, Kellen Daskalik, Kid Cave, Algen Tunser, Morningstar 336. Uh, Static Fishy, 22, uh, Samuel Puente, George Washington, Twizzy, and Yolkface. Thank you all so much for commenting the last video. Hope you guys did enjoy, guys. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. And I'll talk to you later. Stay safe for me, and peace out.